Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a kite and we need to find angle one, two, and three. And by the way, you notice here, this is um, a kite because we notice these two consecutive sides are congruent in these two consecutive sides are congruent and opposite sides are not congruent. That is the definition of a kite. And we have some property. And one of the property that uh, you can see it in the picture is that BD, which is a diagonal, right, is perpendicular and the other diagonal. These two are perpendicular. Okay, so this is a property similar of rhombus and uh, square. So that means the measure of each of those four angles, so including angle one, will be 90 degrees. Very fast you can find angle 1. For 2 and 3 we need to look a little bit more and be careful that 2 and 3 are not congruent and by the way BD does not bisect uh, the opposite angles which are ABC and ADC. However, this AC is the one that bisects opposite angles. B, A, D, and B, C, D. So that is a property of a kite. So yes, these two angles are congruent. So this angle is 38 degrees. And these two angles are congruent. So this angle here is 28 degrees. And if you have an accurate kite, you can see that's the property. So basically now we can find angle 3 looking in this triangle. So I'm going to start with that one. Triangle and let me call this point here G, A, G, D. In that triangle, the sum of the interior angles is 1. 180 degree and this angle here is 90 degree so I'm going to say 38 degrees which is angle GAD plus 90 degrees which is one of the four, four angles in this case AGD plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 so 38 plus 90, that is 128, plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180. So for the measure of angle 3, we just subtract 128 from 180. And that will be 52 degrees. So we have angle 3. We have one more, which is angle 2. And like I said, be careful, angle 2 is not congruent with angle 3, right? So angle 2, if you notice, is in this triangle, triangle uh, BGC. And the sum of the interior angle of that triangle is also 180. So we're going to have these 28 plus the, uh, this angle here, which is 90, right? Plus the measure of angle to equals 180. So that will be 118, right? Uh, plus the measure of angle to equals 180. And the last thing for finding the measure of angle to we subtract. Uh, 118 from 180 and that will be 62 degrees and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you